Hello and welcome to Junior Church at Home. My name's Emma. And my name's Isra. And we're from St Mary's Church in Porchester. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that you're going to enjoy the session with us. Let's start together in a short prayer. God, as we get ready to be with you, open our ears to listen to you. Open our minds to help us think about you. Open our eyes to see you in the world around us. And open our hearts to love you more. To love you more. Amen. Amen. For our Bible reading today, I'm going to be reading from the Good News Bible, the Youth Edition. Turning to Mark chapter 8 verses 31 to 38. You can either listen along here with me or if you want to grab your own Bible and read a different version that's just fine too. So Mark chapter 8 verses 31 to 38. Jesus speaks about his suffering and death. Then Jesus began to teach his disciples the Son of Man must suffer much and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law. He will be put to death, but three days later he will rise to life. He made this very clear to them. So Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But Jesus turned around, looked at his disciples, and rebuked Peter. Get away from me, Satan, he said. Your thoughts don't come from God, but from human nature. Then Jesus called the crowd and his disciples to him. If anyone wants to come with me, he told them, he must forget self, carry his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his own life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. Do people gain anything if they win the whole world but lose their life? Of course not. There is nothing they can give to regain their life. If a person is ashamed of me and of my teaching in this godless and wicked day, then the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Amen. Why do you think that Jesus told Peter to stop when they spoke together? Jesus knew that what he was saying to his followers was true. His time on earth and death on the cross were all part of God's plan. But that didn't mean that it was easy for Jesus. Jesus had been tempted in the wilderness to take a different path and to not be a part of God's plan. But here, Peter was encouraging the same thing. Tell Jesus to not talk about dying. Jesus knew that God was calling him to remain faithful and to walk the path that God had prepared for him, even though it led to death on the cross. For our craft today, we're going to be um, making a magic cross. Uh, Zoe's going to be doing that a little bit later on. And uh, we have also spoken last week about Lent and giving things up and also taking things on. And that can be a part of the activity as well. Today for our activity, we are going to be making a magic cross. What you're going to need is some paper, uh, a pen or some pencils or anything uh, colourful or to write with to decorate and then some scissors. Or, But you don't need scissors, they are to make it a bit easier for when we get to the crafting, tearing part. So how we're going to start off is by folding this corner up 
to make a triangle, so you've got a triangle there. Then we're going to fold from this corner to over here to make another triangle. Then we are going to pull this up here, making sure that you get all the creases. Then we are going to flip it over. We're going to fold it in half this way. And then we're going to tear or use our scissors to cut from around where this line ends. So then it should look a bit like this. Then we'll unfold it and we have our magic cross. But I'm going uh, to put 100 miles in March. along my uh, cross. Jesus said, who said those who choose to follow him should be prepared to give things up and trust in God. Last week we talked about giving things up or adding things for Lent. One thing I've decided to do is walk 100 miles for charity in March. It will be a difficult task, but I'll get, trust in God and look forward to the challenge. On your magic cross, you could write what you are going to do for Lent and decorate it. Let's do that and I'll speed it up. So this is my finished magic cross. Uh, let us know what you're doing for Lent and enjoy the craft. Bye. I have decided Before me, the world be.
we're going to read If You Can, We Can. If You Can, We Can by Beth Shostman, illustrated by Peter Brown. If you can, we can. I love you, I really do. What does that mean? Although? Although my arms are just too small and so I can't quite cuddle you. I hug you, you hug me, and round and round we dance together holding tight. Don't yet me fool. I tickle you, you giggle too, but not, not my toes, no, not my toes. You can know, you know that's when I Squeal the most. <laughs> I make you laugh. You, yay. What does that mean? You laugh. You laugh with me. There's nothing in this world that can make me feel so good as. What does that Laughter. Laughter can, as laughter does. As laughter should. I hold you hand, you hold mine tight. I hold your hand, you hold mine tight. Just feeling sn snug, secure and safe. safe. Just knowing I... Protect me, care for me, be there. I sing your songs, you sing them too. Yelled ones, soft ones, make me laugh ones. Love songs, sleep songs, safe and sound songs. I tell you tales you get on close, then tell me stories through through the night of my of mighty dangerous giant knights. Adventures made made to fill my mind. I'm in your dreams and you're in mine. The best Dreams, safe dreams, sleep all night dreams. My dreams, your dreams, always are dreams. Let's be friends forever, I say. There for one another, looking out and talking care so. Let's do it to. Whatever you do and whatever I do, let's do it together. For you and me, all of us, for you is and something. Samantha. Samantha. Thank you for joining us for Junior Church at Home. So today is the second uh, Sunday of Lent. And as a final thought today, can you think of a time when you gave something up or chose a difficult path because of your faith? Lent gives us time to think about those kind of things. Some people have given up um, things for Lent and then some people have also added things. Both can be very difficult and challenging at times. I know uh, with Zoe's walking 100 miles in March is going to be quite a challenge. And we've also decided that on every Friday, we're going to get up at five o'clock, go and walk two miles and then have a dip in the sea afterwards. And here's a picture of one from this Friday. 
it was very cold and the car was frozen when we got back so it's going to be challenging but we're going to keep it up and uh, I'll update you with how we're going each week. So let's end our session today in prayer. I'll put the words up on the screen so you can join in with me. Dear God, thank you for the story of Jesus predicting his own death, which reminds us that everything Jesus did on earth was part of your big plan. Help us to remember that we are part of your big plan too, and to choose each day to follow you and live for you. Show us the areas in our hearts and lives where you want to see change. Help us grow more like you and draw closer to you. Amen. So I look forward to uh, seeing you again next week. Have a great week at school. Um, it's probably going to be the last one in lockdown. So I hope that everything goes well and uh, I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye bye.